February in Belarus is called Luti. This means fierce. It is very suitable to describe the events in the human rights sphere in Belarus over the last four years. Fierce repressions, fierce tightening of legislation. Let's understand the details together. I am a cartoon avatar of human rights defender Nasta Loika, sentenced to seven years in prison for human rights work. Nasta has been in prison for more than 540 days. According to the adopted amendments to the legislation, those convicted of pedophilia in Belarus will be subjected to forced chemical castration. Forced chemical castration is equal to torture, so its introduction violates standards of freedom from torture and other cruel treatment. Torture and inhuman treatment are prohibited both by international standards and the constitution of Belarus. Lawyers of the project of Free Legal Consultations Legal Hub stated that de facto authorities of Belarus continue to tighten the law on people without formal employment. According to the new amendments, many groups of people who previously were not classified as unemployed in the economy will be treated as such if they decide to leave Belarus for more than 30 days. Read why these regulations are discriminatory on our website. Link to the material is below this video. A new review of the fight against extremism in Belarus has been published, covering the period from October to December 2023. Over the three months, human rights defenders became aware of at least 86 new criminal cases, 24 convictions on extremist grounds, not including cases related to protests and insults, at least 1,086 cases on administrative offenses according to the data of the State Bank of Court decisions. The maximum recorded punishment for extremism was 25 years of imprisonment during the analyzed period. The Protecting Rights at Borders Coalition emphasized in its eighth report that the lack of safe and legal ways to come to the EU leaves migrants with only unsafe routes with risks to their health and lives. Since the summer of 2021, at least 94 people have died in the border areas of Belarus, Poland, Lithuania and Latvia. In the fall of 2023, we already wrote about the fact that in May-August, more than 6,000 pushbacks were recorded along the entire EU border. Over the next four months, the number of pushbacks increased to 8,403. Find the full report at the link below the video. Cyberbeaver and his nephews continue to delve into the nuances of digital safety for kids and teens. If you want to learn how to safely run a YouTube channel, follow the link. And if you have long wanted to start your own channel in Telegram, Cyberbeaver has already fixed the basic safety rules. Look for them faster on our channel. Massive political repression in Belarus, which has been intensifying since 2020, extends to sports. You can read about how human rights are violated in sport in Belarus in the analysis of the Fair Play team. Link to the article is in the comments below this video. An article written six years ago about how you are listed in a friend's phone book has gone viral on our website. Why are search algorithms paying attention to this article again? Credit on the site, link to the article is below this video. As always, it has been a pleasure to spend this time with you. The news audience is growing, which means more people are learning about human rights. To contribute to this process, leave comments. See you next month.